Okay, the next test we're going to be performing is we are going to be looking at the femoral antiversion angle, specifically in relation to the femur, in relation to the acetabulum. So to perform this, we're going to go ahead and feel for the patient's greater trochanter. So I'm going to have the patient up, and I'm going to move his leg until I feel that greater trochanter. So as that leg comes out, I feel that greater trochanter move inwards as it goes in. I feel that greater trochanter move out. And what I'm looking for is to bring that greater trochanter to parallel with the floor at neutral. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and have the patient hold this position. And while maintaining their leg, I want to measure the relationship of the tibia. Normal, we should see internal inward twisting of the tibia. So there are a couple ways to measure this, but specifically, I'm gonna go ahead and find 90 degrees with my goni. And from 90, I'm going to go ahead and move my moving arm so that it's in line with the tibia. Right here, the, pa the patient, Chase, has 10 degrees of femoral antiversion, which is within the normal range of 8 to 15. So to perform the same thing on this side, I'm going to go ahead and lift the patient's leg up. I'm going to go ahead and feel for the greater, greater trochanter. From there, I'm going to go ahead and find neutral. I'm gonna have the patient go ahead and hold. And I'm gonna perform the same thing here. So I'm gonna find 90 degrees with my goni. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and just move so I'm in line with the patient's tibia. And right here, I measure nine degrees, which is still within normal of femoral antiversion. 